We continue to make good progress on multiplayer. Still have a bunch of things to do, and uh, some of those are tuning the gameplay to work well when there are a lot of players in the game. And one of the main things, of course, is the elk hunt. We found that having four to eight wolves attacking an elk simultaneously made the elk hunt very, very short. You could take down an elk in less than a minute. So we've been making some tweaks, some just for multiplayer and some more general that'll be in single player as well. We've made some adjustments to elk speed and responsiveness so they all are more likely to be running together as a herd instead of spreading out. That spreading out behavior was uh, the result of some changes we made last year, but it had the side effect of uh, having the elk spread out more and that doesn't look as good and is not as accurate. We've also increased the elk's maximum running speed a bit, so it is more of a chase. You have to really work at it to keep up with them and catch up to the one you've uh, selected to attack. And of course in multiplayer the big problem is that when you've got four to eight wolves all piling on an elk together, it stops running and can't break free. And so we've revised that behavior so they can break free and when they break free they sprint for a few seconds in a burst of speed, which makes sense because they're freed of those wolves holding them down. And of course they are eager to get away. And so this looks really nice, I think, as well as increasing the challenge for the players to catch back up to the elk and start biting it again. Multiplayer will have a new mode, Territory Acquisition and uh, Maintenance. And so for that, it's important that the wolf pack colors are easily distinguishable. And I've been meaning for many months to check to see if our colors were distinguishable to people with different kinds of color blindness. And I finally did that last week and it turns out they're not. So I got a nifty little shader here that simulates the three main kinds of color blindness. And so I can choose different pack colors and check them with this filter. So it took a fair bit of experimentation, trying different colors, using some, using some color palettes that are designed for this kind of thing, to end up with colors that do look different no matter what kind of color blindness or no color blindness you have. And one more thing, we'd had some bugs that prevented the stranger wolf spawning to work properly. The number of stranger wolves in each pack should scale up depending on the number of players in the game, and that wasn't happening until this week when it does happen. <laughs> and, well, Here's a little snippet from our test session. Oh my word. I can barely see them, but I can see there's a lot. Oh my word. It's like <laughs> one by way. swarm of black flies. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, turning names off. Wow. Oh my goodness. And turn off names and things that this more chaotic. Oh, I no. see it. Oh, oh, they're coming for me now. Oh, no, they're coming oh. for me. <laughs> yeah, I can't go away. I'm going to see them. Are they still attacking? Oh, they're, they're attacking. Don't you oh. come for me. I'm just the photographer. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, get away from me. I don't have the health for this. So that's something that's more chaotic and more intense than we really expected. But I suppose, what are you going to do when you've got 10 stranger wolves attacking your pack of seven? So this kind of close combat obviously presents a great challenge for multiplayer syncing. And Miko, our multiplayer developer, continues to work on refining the syncing accuracy and has some ideas and things to improve it. But it is a spectacle. And we are tuning this because our little pack of seven somehow managed to chase this pack away. Where are they? Which, which way they go? Look at them! All right, let's chase them. Let's chase them off. Wow. Whoa, I gotta get a screenshot of this. This is insane. Oh. Look I at thought... that, they're just they're heading home. They know when they're beat. <laughs> oh, you better run. 